Okay, I'm ready. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the special meeting of the Bellflower City Council. It is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. It is 2.06 by my watch, and I'm calling this meeting in order. Before we begin, please note that all public meetings will be recorded. When a participant logs in via their computer or calls in to join the meeting, their name and or phone number will be visible to all participants. Unless you are providing public comments, your audio will be muted and your video will be disabled. Persons wishing to be audience members to the meeting may do so anonymously. Anonymous participants, however, will not be recognized for public comment. Persons who seek to bypass the city's host controls will be dropped and blocked from the meeting. Thank you for your cooperation. Item number two, Madam City Clerk, roll call, please. Councilmember Santanez. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Coops. Here. Councilmember Dutton. Here. Councilmember Hamada. Here. Mayor Garza. Here. Thank you so much for that, Madam City Clerk. Item number three, public comments. Mr. Stewart. Pursuant to Government Code Section 54954.3a, the public may address the City Council on matters listed on the agenda. Those wishing to speak on an agenda must be utilized one of the methods listed on page two of the agenda. You will be given three minutes to address the City Council. Attempts to provide comment at times not designated on the agenda may result in the City dropping you from the meeting. Thank you for that, Mr. Stewart. Uh, before we begin, uh, let me make the following announcement. If you would like to speak during public comment, uh, please use the raise hand feature if participating by computer. It appears under the participants tab, under the participants tab. If by phone app, it will appear under the more button at the bottom right hand corner. Or if by telephone, please press star nine to raise your hand. You will be called upon by the deputy city clerk in the order received. You can then unmute your microphone so that you can provide your comments. And so with that, with item number three, Madam Deputy City Clerk, do we have any members of the public wishing to make uh, comments regarding today's uh, council agenda item? Mayor, I'll give the public just a moment to utilize the feature. Mayor, I'm not seeing any public comments. Thank you for that, Madam Deputy City Clerk. Uh, item number four, A, Mr. Stewart. This is consideration of possible action to adopt resolution number 20-57, a resolution providing for the appointment of the offices of council member district one and council member district two that were scheduled for election Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, and two, resolution number 20-58, a resolution canceling the special and general municipal election scheduled for this Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020 for council member election district one and council member district two pursuant to the elections code section 10229. And I believe the city clerk has some additional information she'd like to present before we. Thank you, Mr. City Manager. Good afternoon, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem and council members. Um, at the close of the nomination period on Friday, August 7, 2020, at 5 p.m., there were no more candidates than offices to be elected at the November 3, 2020 special and general municipal election for Council Member District 1 and Council Member, Member District 2 only. The qualified candidates uh, nominated to those offices are Council Member Raymond Y. Hamada for Council Member District 1 and Mayor Pro Tem Dan L. Coops for Council Member District 2. The California Elections Code sets forth provisions to cancel an election and appoint the person nominated to the office when the number of nominees is equal to the number of offices to be filled for the election. If the city council decides to exercise the option of appointing the nominees to office, then adopting the resolutions provided on the agenda would confirm the appointments and cancel the election for those offices only. The nominees would take office and serve exactly as if elected on the ballot for a municipal election with terms beginning in December 2020. The election of council member district four for which there are five qualified candidates would remain on the November 2020 election ballot. That concludes my report and happy to answer any questions. Thank you for that Madam City Clerk. Um, uh, so let me go with the uh, questions from my colleagues. Uh, let's start off with uh, council member Sunny something Ness. Mr. Mayor, I have no question. I just want to congratulate um, Mayor Pro Tem Coops, Dan L. Coops and council member Raymond Y. Hamada officially uh, for their um, re-election um, in this year's um, contest. Uh, so congratulations. Thank you for that, Council Member something is. Uh, Council Member Dutton. Sorry, no questions. I've uh, been down this road two years ago. 
a good feeling. Uh, nobody's contesting you, and uh, I think uh, uh, we're doing the right thing by uh, keeping these two men on. Uh, congratulations, guys. You know what it feels like to run un un uncontested. Yours, Mayor. Thank you so much for that, Councilmember Dutton. Uh, Councilmember Hamada? And say, hmm, uh, let me think about this. Make a motion. Oh, no, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. I think I better, better one. Oh, uh, well, you know, I, I didn't want to throw that in, but, but no, again, uh, uh, no questions. <laughs> Great, uh, Mr. Mayor. Not a problem. Uh, Mayor Board Tim Coops, any questions? It's an honor to serve, and uh, it's an honor to be elected without having anybody challenge. I don't look at it as a personal victory as much as I look at it as a victory for our council. We pull together on this thing. Obviously, the, the constituents of this town trust our governance, and they want to keep us together. That's how I view this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Not a problem, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, for me, I, I don't have any questions. I uh, The report from staff was full. Uh, it explains you know, what, what occurred here, here uh, the fact, fact that, that these, these two gentlemen, gentlemen were not contested for their seats and uh, what the law allows for us as a council to do. Um, I know that this this level of um, record of, of, uh, of occurrences are pretty rare, really, when it comes to city councils, uh, of people not being contested in their seats. It's, again, really rare in my experience with government and, and dealing with as many cities as I deal with. And the fact that four out of the five uh, pass races in the city have been uncontested for uh, incumbents as is really remarkable. And I, I'm hoping that it's a reflection from our residents that they are happy and satisfied with the not only the leadership in, in our city, um, but also the direction that our city is going in. And last but not least, uh, also the, the level of service that our staff provides to our residents every single day. So I, as mayor, I couldn't be prouder of the fact that we're considering this today. So. Uh, I'd like to echo the comments of my colleagues uh, in terms of congratulating my colleagues, uh, of Mr. Hamada and Mr. Coops, for again having the respect and, and trust of our of our residents and not being contested. And um, I look forward to seeing you, gentlemen, here for your upcoming terms and continue your service to our residents. I, as a as a member of the public, I deeply appreciate you stepping up and serving our public. So that completes my comments. Um, with that, I'd like to open it up, uh, and I know we did this before, but just as a formality, uh, Madam Deputy City Clerk, uh, would there be members of the public wishing to make comment again regarding item 4A? Uh, yes, Mayor, I'll give the public just a moment. No public comment there. Thank you for Thank that, you for Madam Deputy Clerk. Clerk. So, uh, so uh, with that, that gentlemen, gentlemen, I will uh, consider a motion. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Mayor um, it will be my honor to um, make a motion uh, for the City Council of City of Bellflower to adopt resolutions 20-57 and 20-58. So I have a motion, is there a second? Sure, I'll second it. Okay, so I have a second by Council Member Dutton. Um, Madam City Clerk, roll call please. Council Member Sante Nez. Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Coops? Aye. Council Member Dutton? Aye. Council Member Hamada? Aye. Mayor Garza? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, Thank if there's you. Any, any final comments before we adjourn? Oh, uh, again, I just want to echo the comments about, again, serving. And, and it's, again, my honor to serve this community and uh, looking forward to uh, the next couple of years. And uh, uh, we're still working on a lot of great things. And uh, we're going to get some great things for Belfar. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Fantastic, absolutely. Okay, so uh, seeing uh, none, it is uh, 2.15 by my watch, and this meeting is adjourned.